So it looks like people are still coming on. I think we're close to 100 um, people who signed up for the call. So um, we'll give it just another minute or two before we get started. Just so that you're all aware, we are in a webinar format for Zoom, so you have video or audio capabilities, but if you have a question, you can type it into the chat box. All right, well, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, Melissa, can you hear me okay? Okay, that's good so far. Okay, well, welcome. We're so excited to have all of you and we are ready for the big day on May 6th this year. So we're very excited. And also a happy St. Patrick's Day. That was convenient. So I guess we're gonna have to talk about the big pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> and all the luck that everybody will have in raising a lot of dollars this year. Perfect, yes. So to kick off our meeting, we are actually going to hear from Pat Bell, who is with the Grand Island Independent about um, um, the, um, what the Independent is gonna do this year for Go Big Give. So I will give it over to Pat. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for allowing me to come and visit with you. This year, the Independent will be doing a tab for the Go Big, event, Go Big Give event, just like we have in years past. You can see that Cami is sharing the flyer. It's very similar if you've done this before. It's pretty much the same thing. The tab is gonna publish on May 2nd. We're doing again the buy one, get one. So if you buy an eighth of a page, we'll match it with another eighth of a page. So you have a quarter, page ad, same way with the quarter page, would go up to half page, half page to a full, and full to two full pages. Pricing is all exactly as it has been for the last few years. Um, our only caveat every year is depending on how many participants buy ads, um, it will affect color. We can, the last few years, we've done a 20 page tab. That means I have four pages that can only be in black and white. So the sooner you get your ad in, the better your chances are of getting color in your ad. Um, but there is not a bad ad position in the tab. They're all great positions. Is there any questions anybody has? It's really very much similar to what we have done in the past with the matching, matching sizes. Thank you, Pat. And we do have this flyer up on the on our Go Big Give toolkit. And um, I believe in previous years you had your um, sales staff reach out to the nonprofits. Are you planning to do that again this year, or should they plan to call the independent? Um, it can go either way, but I have distributed the ads. The list you gave me the list of mm -hmm. all the participating agencies. I have distributed that. And we've assigned an agency to every one of the sales staff. So someone should be contacting everyone. But if they don't get a contact um, or they know right away what they want to do, you know, feel free to reach out to the paper too. I, I don't know, is there, I think that it's just a general number and it calls 382-1000. And then once you get the automated attendant, press four and that will take you to a community phone line back in sales and someone can get with you. Pat, okay. if, you're, 
organizations don't have um, marketing staff or graphic designers on staff, will the independent help to develop their ads? Oh, absolutely. We have a full team of graphic designers. So really all we need is um, just what you're wanting to promote in your ad and we can put it together. You always see your ad before it goes in the paper to make sure this is the message that you wanna promote, but we will work with everybody. The only thing, if you haven't advertised with us before, we would need um, a logo. You know, we would need the companies to provide us with a logo or if they have any specific artwork they want us to use. But otherwise we can help build the ads. We'll do all of that. There is no extra charge for any of that. Awesome, thank you. Are they able to use past ads, Pat? Past ads? Pat? Yes, yes, anything that they've run in the past, we have a library back mm -hmm. at least five years. Um, I don't, have you been doing Go Big Give for five years yet? This is our eighth year. This, I'm sorry? This is our eighth year, so yes. Okay. Well, I know I have ads back at least five years. So yes, we would be able to, or if they have a copy of it, we can reproduce it. So yes, past ads are great. They are at, I, I have a question in the chat of who do we contact at the independent and what that email might be. Did they just call that phone number you gave earlier? They can call the phone number, they can email me and I can get them uh, connected with their right rep. Um, my email is pat, P-A-T dot bell, B-E-L-L -L, at theindependent.com. And I just placed that into the chat. Into the chat. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Pat. And we appreciate the um, independent always supporting Go Big Give. It's awesome. And we are excited to work with you guys again. Well, thank you. We're excited to work with you folks too. Awesome. Well, you have a great day. All right. So we'll keep going on here and I am going to hand it off to Karen and Melissa to tell you a little bit about Go Big Give and what's all happening this year. Well, welcome back guys and welcome to anybody who's new. We're really excited to have you all participating in Go Big Give this year. Um, what is Go Big Give? For those of you who are new, Go Big Give is a 24-hour giving event. It's going to take place on May 6, 2021 this year, and we're working to grow philanthropy in Hall, Hamilton, Howard, and Merritt counties. Uh, the minimum online donation is $10, but every gift is going to grow with match pool funds and incentive prizes. Uh, and if you missed it, we did have an intro to Go Big Give meeting earlier this year, and Cami was generous enough to record that, and then it is on the toolkit. So if you're new and you feel like there's a lot of questions that you have, go ahead and watch that video and it might answer them for you. Otherwise, you can always reach out to a member of the team of Go Big Give. So last year we had a great year with everything going on and we had to postpone it, as you know, and from May until August and so, or July, I should say. Um, and so we still raised a million seventeen thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars And if you look at kind of how that stacks up with other years, you can see that 2019, we had an extremely uh, successful year. So. Our goal, again, is going to always be around that million dollar mark. But when you look at our match pool funds and incentive prizes, they continue to grow and we're excited by that. But I think one thing that we want everybody to note is that look at that bottom statistic, the donors who gave to more than one organization. And I think that's key. You know, when donors go online at Go Big Give to give, they're actually looking to support nonprofits. And sometimes they have found uh, other nonprofits within their, their area of interest, whether it's arts or education or animals or whatever that might be. So attracting donors to your site is, is really important um, during all of this and being able to uh, use the social media stuff to, to blast it out. So when people are looking at hashtag, you know, go big give, they might stumble upon uh, one of your organizations and uh, 
you know, read more about you and decide to give. So I think that's an encouraging number that people are still giving to more than one organization. And also um, this event is still attracting uh, new donors. We're also excited because it keeps growing as far as nonprofits participating. And so we have 142 nonprofit organizations that are participating this year. And, and, and that's great because like Karen was talking about before, we're seeing nonprofits who are getting donations just because they're on the platform and they're get, you know donors are giving to other people. So it's a great opportunity to get your name out there and we're excited to have all of you guys on board. We're so excited that we also awarded an early prize um, for the pre-give prize for the early registration. We awarded a $250 sweetheart prize for everybody who had um, registered by February 14th. Their name went into a drawing and teammates of Donovan was our first winner. So again, Go Big Give is coming up on Thursday, May 6th. Pre-give dates this year, we decided last year it worked so well for us to give you two weeks of extra time for pre-give. So this year we decided to open up that window, not quite as long, but longer than we have in the past. And it'll be a full 10 days from Monday, April 26th until Wednesday, May 5th. And Go Big Give would really not be what it is without our sponsors. And so we want to make sure that you are aware of who our sponsors are and making sure that we give a nice shout out. And if you're at those businesses or if you, you're talking to somebody related to those, um, please thank them. Um, these are Impact and Community Leader Sponsors, which is um, they're all listed right there and will be available. And then we also have our Changemaker sponsors, Groundbreaking sponsor, and our Building Block sponsors, as well as our very important media sponsors. Well, as Karen said before, we are going to stick with the million dollar goal. We're hoping to see a lot more over that million dollars, but we think that's a good, a good lofty goal for us to stick with for this year. And we have some exciting things we're going to talk about here in a minute. We have obviously ways for your gifts to grow, which I think when you're communicating to donors um, that a great reason to give during Go Big Give is that they your gifts can um, be matched or grow with that match pool funds. Um, they also grow with the support them all. And then we've added a lot of fun, exciting incentive prizes this year. And we've listened to some of the feedback. So we're hoping that you guys will be pretty excited by these incentive prizes. Tammy's gonna use her magic and bring up the incentive prizes, um, which will be available. Uh, she's going to email this out to everybody, but will also be available on our toolkit. So Melissa and I are just gonna kind of tag team uh, explaining some of these prizes because they are so different. So what's okay. up? Well, during pre-give, we've broken it down into three different prizes. And the first one is the 100% board challenge. And that is simple. Um, if your board members each give a $10 donation or more to your organization during pre-give, then you will be um, put into a random drawing and we will draw on Go Big Give Day, I believe, right, Cammie? To yep. um, see who's going to win that $500 prize. Now, the caveat for this prize is, is that you do have to submit to us ahead of time who your list of board of directors is so that we're able to track whether or not you had 100% giving from them. And then every day during uh, the pre give, we will randomly select a donation that has been made to get a boost of $100. And so there will be 10 winners during that the 10 days of pre-give. And then those 10 winners will all be entered into a drawing for the grand prize of $500 that we will announce on Go Big Give Day. So every day a gift can grow by $100 and then it may grow by an additional $500. Okay, so our final pre-give uh, prize is kind of where those tiers that we emailed out about earlier this year come into play. And you'll see this a little bit more down the line, but the amount, most amount raised during pre-give is going to be a $500 prize. And that prize is going to be given out um, based on what $500 to each of those three tiers. So if your organization has a budget of three, 30,000 and less, they'll be in a grouping and and so on and so forth. Um, 
So whichever organization in each tier has the most raised within their tier during pre-give will receive that $500 prize. Um, and just, just a note on these tiers, you know, we, we took that information from you guys. So it's based on self-report. And then those, those tiers are broken down based on uh, kind of where the lines fell and, and the same number of participants in each tier. So everybody has approximately the same number of organizations in each tier that they're, they're doing these prizes with. All right, so then on Go Big Give on May 6th, we have some of the traditional ones that we've had, which is a very popular every half hour random drawing of $250 price that uh, donation will be randomly selected and that gift will then grow by $250. And then again, it's our eighth year. So the 8 a.m. to 8.08 a.m. match minute will be presented by Lutz and there'll be a $5,000 match during that time for any donations that qualify up to um, $100. And uh, once the $5,000 is gone, then, then the match is gone. And then give a latte will be from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And again, we're gonna be using that tiered system and it will be awarded to the nonprofit with the highest per capita gift um, during that one hour period. And again, the, the three tiers really help uh, level that playing field. As Melissa said, each one should have the same number of nonprofits within that tier. So you have roughly a, hundred, a one in 45 uh, chance of winning that. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. is gonna be our second match minute. It's gonna be presented by Five Points Bank and just the same as the early morning one. Those donations up to $100 will be matched until the $5,000 is gone. And then again, we'll repeat, repeat that give some more like the give a latte um, from nine to 10 p.m. And it will be a 500 prize for each tier that um, has the most gifts during that time period. Um, we have a question in the uh, chat box asking to explain the tiers. So. The tiers are based on the application that was submitted, your registration that was submitted. We asked for um, your budget and, and just what your total you know, budget amount for the year was. And so that was a self-report. And then the organizations uh, were placed into tiers that are roughly the same size, pro approximately 45 organizations in tier one and tier two and tier three. And so those are where those, those prizes will go. Um, so our, ne our next prize is most gifts outside of Nebraska. Pretty self-explanatory. We're going to be watching and seeing where, where in the country and the world these donations are coming from and whichever nonprofit organization has the most outside of Nebraska, you will win a $500 prize. If we have a tie, we'll do a random drawing. Then we have, um, for all of you overachievers, um, we are going to acknowledge that with another $500 prize. And it's only eligible for nonprofits who participated last year in Go Big Give. Um, and it will award the organization had the greatest increase in the amount raised from 2020 to 2021. We'll get that additional $50 or $500 prize. Let's go live. Uh, that sound song or that prize always makes me think of Let's Get Loud by Jennifer Lopez for some reason. Side note for you all. Uh, <laughs> this is another $500 prize and really uh, it's really targeted at um, organizations to use social media. So any organization who does a Facebook live video during the day of Go Big Give between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. All you have to do is screenshot it, hashtag it Go Big Give and the organization then is in a drawing to be able to win a $500 prize. Um, I do have a question asking on the overachiever prize, if that is percent of amount raised or dollar amount. It's the greatest increase so that it's a dollar amount. Okay, so the next prize is the 308 prize. So. All nonprofit organizations that have raised at least $308 by 3.08 p.m. on May 6th is entered in a random drawing to win that $308 prize. 
We have a question on a limit for how many times you go live or does it only count once? And it only, unfortunately, it only counts once. You don't get additional um, donation or additional entries for going live more than once. Although we do encourage you to continue to go live because I think we all know if there's buzz around the day, there's more dollars being raised. And our um, last couple of prizes are going to deal with fundraising pay, or page prizes and then the after events of Go Big Give. And the first one is a fundraising ugh, fundraising page goal prize, which is a $250 prize that goes to whichever fundraising page reaches their goal at 9 p.m. They'll all be entered into another random drawing and we'll drive it. And that fundraising page, um, those used to be called cheer pages. And uh, the platform that we use changed it from cheer pages to fundraising page. So we want to make sure you understand uh, where that's coming from. And so, yeah, two, two nice prizes there that um, kind of acknowledge those additional opportunities that, you know, maybe your board members or, you know, one of your... Uh, Maybe somebody who adopted a dog is so grateful that they've created a fundraising cheer page, um, cheer page uh, to do that. So making sure that we either you've reached your goal by 9 p.m. And then we're also going to acknowledge that you've had the highest dollar amount raised on a fundraising page. We'll get an additional $250 boost. All right. And then the final prize is our After Go Big Give prize. Any organization that raises over $10,000 um, during Go Big Give is going to be eligible to receive a um, endowment fund of $10,000 at the Greater Grand Island Community Foundation. If you've won this in the past, we've given this out the last two years, so those two organizations are no longer eligible. But if you have not won it in the past and you raise over $10,000, you'll be in for that random drawing that we will do at our FeedMac meeting in June. Um, I have another question really quick here in the in the box that says if you have more than one cheer what more than one fundraising or cheer page can you receive the award if only one page reached its goal. If you have more than one. Yes, it, we're actually looking at each individual fundraising page for those prizes. So every fundraising page that's out there, it will, um, we will be looking at. So if that fundraising page has met their goal, then all of those who've met their goal will be in a random drawing. So if you have five uh, fundraising pages out there and three of them met that goal, then three of them will be in that drawing. If hopefully that helps. And I see that there's another question on the match pool. We're gonna get to that one here in just a little bit. And yes, we are recording this and it will be available on the um, toolkit as well as this full PowerPoint so you can share it with um, your board members as well. And I believe, Karen, if I'm correct, Cami will be emailing out the prize list here yes. after, the, after the meeting today so that you guys can all read through and see it. Yes. So lots of fun and excitement we've added to that. Um, but as somebody questioned is just, um, Let's go back to the good news part. <laughs> and then, um, so our match pool, we're really excited um, because we've uh, been working hard at our sponsors. Our GoBig team has um, had a lot of success with that. And so we are excited to announce that we anticipate a 40% increase in um, our match pool funds. So last year was about $60,000 in the match pool funds. And so we are anticipating that to be about the 85,000 um, mark if we, and maybe even a little higher if we can um, have a couple other things that come in. So um, a very generous additional 40% um, of revenue that might be coming in. So all of that is really good news. I see there's another question here. Um, and still eligible I for, a, Okay, so the question is, are we still eligible for Let's Go Live price if pre-recorded and played live on day of events held within the pre-give would be a preferred, preferred platform for sharing excitement for our fundraising efforts? So yes, as long as it's a, like a video that's being aired that day, it can be pre-recorded, um, but it's just, um, we want to have that live interaction piece that comes into play and encourage um, all of you nonprofits to really use those features that, um, whether it's, um, 
you know, just a way to, I think, populate everybody's uh, work for the day and their excitement and their efforts for fundraising um, in a feed that is always at the top. And I just want to tag on one one last time and encourage you guys, you know, we have a lot of new prizes. We're really excited about our ability to increase that match pool this year. So if you see those sponsors, if you're in their business, make sure you give them a big thank you because we, we hope to be able to keep the momentum going in, in years to come. So that's the good news. <laughs> The slightly bad news is that, as you know, everything has gone and moved a little bit. You, you don't see Civicor on anything. They partnered with uh, Neon um, Payments, and so it's called now Neon Giving Days. And they increased their fees from 4.8% for us to 5%. And I want to make sure that everybody clearly understands that this is their payment processing fees and the platform fees. So when their you know, gifts are entered, there's those fees that are out there, whether it's credit card or ACH, um, and then the, the platform fee that they charge for us. The Heartland United Way and the Greater Grand Island Community Foundation do not charge any fees, nor do we receive any financial benefit for hosting Go, Go Big Give. All fees that are incurred are transactional fees from Neon Pay. Um, and they also proposed adding a 1% sur surcharge for American Express. Um, cards. And so we have opted to not um, put anybody in that position where there's an additional 1% charge there. So we will not be accepting um, American Express cards this year. And that and generated... Can remember, I can't remember if this is covered anywhere else now that I'm thinking about it, but what about um, Internet Explorer? Does the page work in Internet Explorer? Yeah, cami has got that covered in there, but no, okay. Internet Explorer does not work. And so it will be on the website that day. And Cami has that covered in another slide here later on. And yes, donors can still elect to um, pay the fees. And we highly encourage that. Um, uh, and is there anything else? Okay. And Melissa answered that question. So. Um, hopefully you understand that we're just passing that on and hopefully we're offsetting that with some, you know, a lot more prizes and a prize pool amount um, and also uh, a larger match pool fund available. So, and they will also still have the, um, the stretch funds that will go or, you know, support them all. So people will have the opportunity to again, um, support them all. And that that is equally divided among all the participating organizations. So if we had $142 that was raised and support them all, everybody would get a dollar. If it was 14,000, everybody would get, you know, proportional. So um, hopefully we've offset that additional 0.2% increase. So more ways that nonprofits can grow their donor gift. Um, fundraising pages, as Karen uh, mentioned earlier, these used to be called cheer pages. They've now changed that. Um, when they changed over to Neon Pay, they changed it to fundraising pages. And in 2020, there were over a hundred of them. And it's a great way for donors to be able to raise money on behalf of their nonprofit. Um, like Karen mentioned earlier, maybe you've uh, you've decided to adopt a dog from a shelter and you're very excited about it and you want to post some pictures or some videos and put a personal testimony out there talking about how wonderful the dog has been for you. And this feature allows you to create that custom page, put it all out there. I like to say it's a lot like a GoFundMe page for Go Big Give. And then once it's there, they can, your donors or yourself, your board members, they can share it with their friends, their family. They can put it up on social media. They can email links out, all of that. And then like I said, like we talked about in the prizes, there's gonna be some prizes tied to it this year. So we're really excited about all of that. And just a reminder, all of this information will be available for you on the toolkit. Um, and cami has got a nice little link in there to how to get there. So the other opportunity that you have is a challenge grants. And a challenge grant is something that you secured ahead of time, but it's a promised contribution from a donor or business or somebody who's agreed to give you a specific amount of dollars if other donors um, meet that challenge. So you might have a donor that says, hey, I'll give you $1,000 if you raise $1,000 um, on your site for Go Big Give. 
And if that challenge is accepted, then you will earn that. Um, the important thing to also note there is that, um, well, they'll be displayed on the website and by your day of giving. Um, but once that challenge is, have been, has been fulfilled, you will be entering that challenge gift into Go Big Give. And so a um, couple other things that you need to really watch is please do not ask um, businesses to sponsor Go Big Give when you're asking for some of these challenge grants or you're asking for a donation um, from that business because it really gets confusing. Then they expect to see their name on our sponsor page and it's not there and it causes you grief, it causes us grief. So please let just uh, Melissa and our teams ask for sponsorships for Go Big Give and you are asking for donations um, and support uh, in different ways. And um, like I just said, make sure that you enter that challenge grant once it's been received and it would be entered just as you would a normal donation for Go Big Give. And I, just to kind of tag on at the end of that, just remember Go Big Give is supposed to be a positive experience for the organizations and for the donors and everybody. So make sure that you're, you're lifting up other organizations um, and being supportive of them and um, being supportive of people who are setting up fundraising pages and that sort of thing for organizations that they're passionate about. A donor process. So here it is. Do not Here's my slide. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot this slide since it's got the big E in it. Um, but we, we confirmed we had a ton of problems last year and it was one of the many headaches that were Go Big Give 2020. Um, but we had, we had a lot of problems with donors and, and organizations and ourselves having issues with Internet Explorer. And so just a big reminder, let everybody know it is not compatible with the Go Big Give website. Um, there will be a banner on the page that lets people know that, but we encourage you to use Google Chrome or Firefox or another browser because Internet Explorer and Go Big Give are just not friends right now. They've broken up. Um, so Go Big Give, the donor process, a lot of this has stayed the same, but it's really good reminders on there. So when donors come into or enter Go Big Give, uh, they create a profile or they can enter as a gift. And if they gave last year, they can simply just sign in and there's a forget your password. It makes it real easy for donors um, to do that. We encourage them to create a profile because if they want to know what, like at the end of the year, they want a gift receipt um, or to go back and, and find out how much they gave to different organizations a year ago, that's all right there. Um, and so donors can give at gobiggive.org uh, beginning April 26th, and that lasts through the pre-give on May 5th, and then the Go Big Give day on May 6th. And um, I think the other thing that we want people to know is that there's a minimum donation of $10 and that they can fill their shopping carts with multiple nonprofit gifts. Um, and the other part is really important, which was a little bit different last year. And so hopefully everybody's used to that. But during the pre-give, um, people used to schedule gifts and now those gifts are processed in real time. So every gift that's entered or processed on a credit card is going to be charged immediately, whether it's a pre-give or the give day. So very important. Again, donors have the option to offset the processing fees and a donor receipt will be sent to the email provided immediately after the gift is processed. And so if you're entering gifts for those donors, you're entering, you're gonna be getting those emails and that's really not the preferred way. We really encourage you to get the donors um, to enter their gifts and to the donors to put in their own email so that they have the appropriate tax receiving and they have the appropriate information and acknowledgement of their gift. Um, this year, there is a really nice new feature, um, which is going to be wonderful for you and for us and for every single donor. There, do you see that little button there, this support? There will be a support question there that Neon uh, will support during pre-give and the day of giving. And so anytime somebody's in there, they can click on that if they have a question and their question could be immediately um, answered and responded to. The other question or the other important thing is that cash gifts must use the offline form. And we'll be talking more about that here soon. But I see there's a bunch of questions that have come up. I think I covered both of them, but 
One of them was if we could add the Internet Explorer warning to the donor facts, and I, I let them know that's great feedback, and we'll make sure that's there if Cami hasn't already or added it, which I would guess she has. Um, and then there was a question if we're looking at a different platform for next year, and Karen and I did spend quite a bit of time doing research regarding platforms over the past year because of um, just some issues that we had last year. I think we, we voiced our frustrations a little bit over the past year, or not year, but um, six months. But um, as we as we looked through all of that, we really could not find anything that was as advanced as the, the platform that we're using with Neon One, and we felt like everyone would be taking a step back. Um, and so we'll continue to uh, look at that and review that, but at this time, we're going to stick with Neon One. Do you have anything to add to that, Karen? No, it was either going to be more expensive or we were going to lose a lot of functionality. Um, and, you know, we certainly recognize the ease of you going back into the, your profiles and just updating it with um, new things that we've added or the opportunities or to, you know, refresh the information rather than starting from scratch. But if we ever feel like there is a better alternative, uh, we will communicate that out with you. Um, we would be starting the uh, orientation in the, the process a whole lot earlier, but I think, um, as Melissa said, this is our best option now and it offers a lot of uh, opportunities to be successful, I think, for you guys and for the system to run smoothly. So um, donor <clears throat> offline donation forms, the 2020 forms will be on the gobiggive.org toolkit. Uh, your donor has to include an email address and or an email of the recipient organization. So if you have a donor who comes in and they say, I just don't have an email address, um, after you ask them why, because everybody has those these days, then you can just put in, you know, like at the foundation, we have an info at GICF.org that, that we're able to utilize. But keep in mind, if the organization email is used more than once, the gift is not gonna count as a unique gift. And also keep in mind, in mind that offline gifts will not count towards incentive prizes, only match pool. Shannon, we will talk about t-shirts a little later. Mm -hmm. And checks. Checks have been kind of an interesting um, issue. And so we are only accepting checks from April 1st through May 6th, um, those, that date period. So please do not hold checks from December, November of 2020 for Go Big Give in May of 2021. That's not acceptable. And um, please note that those won't be accepted if they're outside of that range. And there's a video step-by-step -step instructions on the toolkit for donors to enter checks on Go Big Give. Um, we will be adding that um, from some of our local personalities here on how to enter those checks. But we really encourage you to input your checks, uh, to have the donors input their own checks. Um, it is not okay and not good practice for our nonprofits to input check checks on behalf of the donors. And I know that that's been done in years past. And last year we had all kinds of issues with this. This is what held up um, our reconciliation. It increased dramatically our fees um, that we ended up paying because people entered in checks and then they were the wrong amount. and. Um, for example, there was a $20,000 check. They didn't mean it to be a $20,000 check. So we paid the fees on that. And then we turned around and paid the fees on uh, the re-entry of it. So um, the other issue that we kind of uh, ran into, I'm gonna talk about just here in a minute, but if there's any special circumstances where you have a check and you just really can't have that donor enter it for whatever reason, please contact us and, and we will work with them. Um, but, uh, and then also if there's anything over $5,000, please verify that check with the Go Big Give team. It's just a huge risk. And if we can, um, if it's not entered right, or if we can go and check it and make sure that if it's in real time, we can request a, a credit back on some fees if it was entered wrong or whatever might have. But last year we, we had uh, an example of where Gifts, people had sent a check to, um, as a memorial. So they, they went to the, the name of the, the 
um, person who had passed away and that family had decided that they wanted it to go to an organization and they wanted to use those memorial gifts to grow during Go Big Give. So that all happened. And what was the huge issue was that um, you had Don Johnson um, enter a, or send a check to um, Mary Smith Memorial. And all of a sudden in their bank account, we had um, debited a $150 memorial gift um, to Go Big Give. And all it showed was Go Big Give and that amount. And so we had so many calls with, I didn't give to Go Big Give. How did you hack into my account? How did you do this? And it was, I, I, in fact, during the end of the year, um, I received five more questions on, I didn't give to Go Big Give or this Go Big Give. How did you get into my account? How did this happen? So we, we really, really, really need everybody's um, support with this. Um, technically, a, a check is a contract between that donor and the bank account. And when we enter into that process, it causes all kinds of havoc and it's really not okay for us to do that. So we are really cracking down hard on that. Um, if you get a check from the donor, walk with them, encourage them to go ahead and enter it. You know, you make the extra effort to work with that donor on getting that check into the system. And we will work with you if there's, you know, any special um, circumstances beyond that. So I'm sure that generated some questions. Melissa, did you have questions in the chat box on that? I don't see any yet. Okay. So offline gifts, um, cash brought to Go Big Give headquarters will not be eligible for incentive prizes like we talked about before, um, but those cash gifts are eligible for match pool funds. Bulk offline funds with cash brought to Go Big Give headquarters will be counted as one gift and not counted as unique donors. So we can't have you bring in $100 worth of $10 bills and all those different sheets. It's, we just can't do that this year. So um, you will, it will be put in as one gift to the nonprofit. Uh, so again, we kind of encourage you to do that yourselves if you can. All cash gifts must be brought in to Go Big Give headquarters before 8 p.m. on May 6th. I think we're tossing it over to Cami now. Yes, very exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing this screen quickly and I will get over to the website. All right, Melissa, are you seeing the Go Big Give website? Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick overview on the website, just a quick update there. And then um, we'll go through how to um, enter a check since we just got done talking about that. And then I will also show you the um, back end of the website as it has changed slightly and um, the where you can see your reports and all of your donors. So if you have any questions, just put them in the chat box and Melissa will <laughs> shout them out. So this is the Go Big Give website. Um, it's pretty fun and cheery. We love our balloons. Um, and we have um, a slide with all of our sponsors, which are obviously very important. Um, if people are, since it's tax season, if people are looking for their receipts from last year, they can just go right here and find their receipt. Um, so the front page is just lots of different stats and kind of what Go Big Give is and um, everything like that. So I'll kind of go through the um, tabs here. So, um, and as we were talking about down in the lower um, right corner, there's the support button. So now through the pre-give, if you would click support, it's gonna pop up um, and they'll, it'll be sent as an email to the support team. So um, after talking with them, it usually takes them like, it says on there 24 or two business days, but usually they would get in contact with you um, within a few hours or within that day. Um, during the Go Big Give day itself, it's gonna be a live chat box. So that'll be um, useful too for donors and nonprofits. So if you click the nonprofits tab up here, that is where everybody is gonna show up. 
And I really love the search feature on our website because you can search in so many different ways. Um, here you can, it's set up to be random, all the nonprofits, but if someone wants to look at it alphabetically, they just click that and alphabetical. Um, if you look on the left side here, you can click um, the letter and it'll bring up those nonprofits. Um, and you can also search by those nonprofits who have challenge grants available. So um, lots of different ways the um, donor can find nonprofits. So the leaderboards page isn't live yet, but on that leaderboard page is where you will um, see who's winning the prizes, who has the most raised, most donors, just like previous years. So that's gonna be the, the big one that day. Um, under About Go Big Give, we have the um, fundraising pages, which is the cheer pages. Um, and Neon One did a great job of actually doing step-by-step -step on how somebody can create a fundraiser. Um, so that's really neat. And um, that's kind of where it was linked to earlier. So if you're wanting to create a fundraising page, it's all right there. You would just go to About and then Fundraising Pages. Um, the prizes are not listed on the website yet, but they will be later today. So if you have questions about that, I will email out that sheet to you. The sheet will be on the toolkit and the prizes will be listed under the prize tab. Yeah, um, and then events. Um, if your nonprofit is thinking about having any sort of event, um, they will be all listed on this website. Um, and on the back end, I'll show you where you can input your event details. Um, sponsors, that's kind of, we talked about those. So that's where all the sponsors are listed. And then the frequently asked questions, that's mainly for donors. Um, so it, it just has frequently asked questions. And yes, if it's not already on there, I will put on first one, no internet explorer. So hopefully that'll help with some of those questions. So another big thing I'd like to talk about is the toolkit. Um, we reference that a lot. So to get there, you would just click toolkit and then nonprofits. And this is kind of the hub of all things Go Big Give for you guys. Um, we have our logo, we have a horizontal logo. We have an info sheet that'll be updated here today. Um, how to make a donation step-by-step -step. Um, Go Big Give PSA. We are still talking about what we're gonna do with that this year. Um, and we'll talk about it um, later on in the presentation about marketing and all of those types of things. These are great tools. Like there's a Go Big Give fundraising game plan you can fill out for your organization. There's an eight week countdown checklist. So if you give that a click, it kind of gives you an outline of what you should be thinking about doing six weeks out, four weeks out. It's really a great um, tool. So as you can see, if you just click it, the PDF of the file pops up and you can download it. You just click that download right up here. So lots of neat things. Um, we even have, um, where is it? Go Big Give sample posts and tweets. So if um, Facebook and Instagram, Twitter kind of freaks you out, anything like that, um, we have um, the sample posts and tweets. So all you'd have to do is just copy and paste it and put in your name and push send. And we have lots of different um, Facebook images. I'll probably be putting some more up there as well. Um, we have a Go Big Give postcard. If you want to like order them, we have a front and back version. Flyer, poster, table tents. If you're handing something out, we have stickers, um, things like that nature. Um, we also have a letter template. So if you just want to send out a general letter, it's all done. All you have to do is put in your name and a little bit about your organization, print it and send it out. So lots of different things here. Um, and as we were saying earlier, we have a lot of um, meeting information. So since we've been doing Go Big Give for eight years, we have a few um, presentations that we've recorded that have been really helpful. So like we have fundraising presentation with Tally Creative kind of tell you, telling you how to get yourself out there for Go Big Give. Um, storytelling, we have a Go Big Give panel we did a few years ago with a variety of si different sizes of nonprofits that tell how they made Go Big Give work for them. So, um, and then also it's that Go Big Give intro to Go Big Give Zoom presentation. So 
Um, if you were not able to join or you need some more, like what is Gobi Give? This would be a great video. I think it's about 40 minutes of what is Gobi Give. So that's the toolkit. It's updated regularly. We try to um, make this as easy as possible. If, if you don't have a marketing person or anything like that, hopefully this page will um, help you do that. So we're gonna hop on to the backside of the um, website. And it looks like there's a lot of questions. Melissa, is there anything to? Um, just this is kind of going back while you're switching over there, but we had a question about are participating organizations able to convert cash donated as a result of events hosted during pre-give into a single credit card donation from the organization? And I, I, I would say yes to that if, if that's how you guys want to do that, if you want to you know, make that donation as a single credit card one. Karen, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, so it kind of like that with um, checks and some of those other things, um, you know, if like the memorial thing. If, if you have um, an, an archive of, or you can have like a backup document of uh, why this gift, you know, because basically, you know, if nonprofit ABC writes a check to nonprofit ABC, all of a sudden you get the match and you get, you know, some of that other stuff that's a benefit, we need to have the backup documentation of here's here's all of these transactions that equaled and are you know identified, um, and then they can support the the one larger gift that came in. And in in hindsight, like with the memorial, that could have happened where you know the list of all the memorial checks were done. That nonprofit could have cashed those and deposited those in their bank, and then you know, uh, entered something for uh, those memorials. Um, yes, Bonnie, a reconcil reconciliation via offline donation form would be perfect, or if you had a spreadsheet or just any form of documentation so that we know that, you know, Stewart Museum Foundation didn't just write themselves a $10,000 check and push it through Go Big Give with their money they already had. So um, the other question we had in there was, it, whether or not organizations request the marketing items or if they have them printed themselves. Just as an FYI, we provide those templates for you guys and you can do as you wish with them as you need. So you can print them, you can put your own um, logo on them along with the Go Big Give logo, however you wanna do it. We just provide those marketing items in template form for you. That's yes. Okay. All right, and um, as far as the pennant posters go, we haven't quite um, got we haven't talked about that yet, but if we do order um, a bulk amount of those posters, we will let you know because we want to um, share them with you guys. So we'll let you know what we do with that. I do have one more question. Um, if an organization has board members that are in other communities that run Give Days, do they just need to list those in Hall, Hamilton, Howard, and Merritt counties? That's an interesting question. Say that again. If you have a board member that's in another community that runs Give Day, so say someone has a board member who's in Lincoln and so they run their own separate Give Day, can they just list the ones who serve from Hall, Hamilton, Howard, and Merritt counties? Um, you know, I, I would, if they are a board member for your organization, we are asking each board member, regardless of where they're located, to support the Go Big Give Day to be eligible. So it has to support this Go Big Give Day and it has to support your organization um, to be counted. And I, I would agree with that. I think that even if it's a small donation of $10, but I don't think it's fair to the other organizations that um, have, have board members. Some have large boards as well that span lots of communities. Okay, so um, as you can see, this is the back end of the website. Um, it has, the look of it has changed just a little bit. So um, when you come on the back side here um, during Go Big Give Day, this is what it'll look like. And all of these um, stats, like your goals and everything will be updating as the um, day goes on. So that's kind of where that is. Um, just to reiterate, the my public profile up here, you can um, 
change any of the wording, add pictures, add events, anything like that up until the middle of April. Um, and you can do all of that. Um, I mean, all of you had to re-register, so you kind of are familiar with all of this, but I just wanna point out um, the multimedia. This is a great way to bring your profile to life. If you have a few pictures, maybe a video you wanna share, um, I think people visiting your profile would, would like to see kind of the different things you do. Um, and then the other one I wanted to touch on was events. This is um, pretty simple to use. All you have to do is add new event right here and it'll pretty much ask for all the details. And this is what I use to put your event on the GoBeGive website. So the key is here to be pretty short and sweet on what your event is, what you want people to do for your event, everything like that. So um, you would put everything in and click submit and then it'll come to us and we'll put it on the website. Um, everything over here is pretty much the same. Um, so now I'm gonna go back to um, your dashboard and new this year is that if you look over on this announcements page, your donor information and donation information is gonna be on a different site. So what to get there, you would just click these nine little dots and click raise. And raise looks like this. This was what will come up. And as you can see, it gives you your dashboard. It gives you stats throughout the day. And again, I think this is from 2020 or maybe total amount of all donations. So it'll um, count during the day. And this is kind of where all of your stats will be. Um, and as you can see, up here, um, there's different tabs. Melissa, do you have a question? I, I do. I had someone ask if videos have to come from YouTube or if there is a way to download to Neon directly. I believe it is um, YouTube or, gosh, there's an, um, not Venmo, uh, yeah. Vim, Vim, something with a V. Um, I believe it, it needs to be a link of some sort. I don't think you um, upload it like from your computer. So it needs to be on some video site to be linked onto it, if that helps. Um, and another thing just to keep in mind on videos is maybe pick one that is your favorite because if we have a lot of nonprofits that put multiple videos, that's really gonna slow the website down. Um, so maybe pick one or, a, you know, just to kind of keep it, um, the website running fast. So then um, if you click the next thing over, it'll give you all of your donor information. And as you can see over here, you can um, search and you can export. So if you want to send thank yous to your donors, this would be hitting Excel would be the best way to do that. Um, and then the next one is your donations. So pretty much the same thing, just all of your donations here. And then the last tab is reports. I um, This is new to me as well, so I haven't um, peeked around too much, but these are all of the different reports that you can run um, with your donation information. So pretty self-explanatory. That's the, the tricky part is just knowing that you have to go back to your dashboard click this, these nine dots, and then click raise. And that'll be where your donation information is. And I think that's all I had on the website end. So I will go back to our PowerPoint and see what we have next. Good to you again. Oh, <laughs> lucky you guys, you get to still see me. Okay, um, so for marketing, um, Gobi Gives a big event. I think it's pretty known throughout our community, but there's still some people who might not know about it. Um, so we are always trying to um, increase Gobi Gives reach within our four county area. Um, Gobi Give averages around 1,500 to 2,000 um, donors each year. And I think we could really um, boost that up. So here are some different ways we can do that. So how do you start? Um, sometimes we overlook the people who are closest to us. Um, so the first one is asking yourself, do I support our mission? And if so, please give a $10 gift or however much, because it's it's cool that go big give. You can 
um, grow your gift. And that's kind of the main point. So definitely consider making a gift yourself. Um, ask your staff if they're not sure what Go Big Give is, tell them about Go Big Give and how it can grow. Um, asking your board members, board of directors. Um, there is a board engagement worksheet on the um, toolkit that I was showing you. So if you're like, I don't know how to engage my board with Go Big Give, there's a few different ideas on there on um, having them commit to do certain things for Go Big Give. So if you're wanting to um, do more of the board information, that sheet is for there for you. And then lastly, asking volunteers and already donors of your organization to support you during Go Big Give. So as always, the goals of Go Big Give is to raise funds. Um, another one is to educate and enhance awareness. Um, telling your story to those donors and new donors. Um, attracting and engaging donors, because as Karen said earlier, um, while people are, are on the Go Big Give site giving to nonprofits, they're going to find, oh, I didn't know what this organization was, and they'll look at your profile and find out more about you. So it's a great way to kind of get your name out there and um, increase your social media footprint. So um, as I was showing you on the toolkit, these are um, uh, a few of the materials that um, we use each year. And yes, I know it does say May 7th, but the ones on the toolkit are May 6th. These are just kind of um, images of what they look like. And then um, these over the years are um, what people have sent out. So for example, um, there's an example of an email, there's a um, 80s prom that Carol does every year, that's fun. Um, there's a barbecue and then just a bunch of different things that people have sent out that we've um, kept throughout the years that we think are pretty cool ideas. The other thing on some of those events uh, the media are always liking um, opportunities to come out and see things that are very engaging and interactive and all of that. So they often call and ask, or um, we like to direct them to some of that. So keep that in mind. If you have something going on that's going to draw some media attention, um, that's going to just help you as an organization and help kind of the overall give day. Yes, and um, we do, when the news does call, we direct them to our events tab. So if you do have an event, please make sure to put it on um, your profile so we know about it, so we can put it out on that page. Um, if it's virtual or in person, we love all events and we'll put it all on there. Um, so just again, like a fundraising plan, um, what we talked about earlier on the website, there's the eight week countdown checklist, the fundraising game plan. Um, a variety of different ways to kind of get your organization out there. Um, kind of talked about that already. Um, if you're with a business, um, these are fun different ways that you can promote um, Go Big Give. You can educate your employees with maybe some flyers, posters, um, promote it via social media, um, and then creating an award or reward for giving, like a jeans day, that's always popular. Um, and then if you have a marquee or a digital billboard, um, please put Go Big Give on there so people driving by will be able to see. So um, pretty neat there. And if you don't already, please follow us on social media. We are mainly on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, if you've been keeping up, we have been doing um, highlighting, we will be highlighting every organization participating. So um, now until we get through all 142, we will be highlighting your organization. We'll have your uh, a post with your logo and we'll have, um, we'll tag you if you have a Facebook page and we will also share your profile link for Go Big Give. So um, we're about a quarter through of our list right now. So keep an eye on that page. And when you see your organization come up, please share it and just say, hey, mark your calendar for May 6th and support Imagination Library or anything like that. So um, that's that's a neat way just to kind of get people excited about Go Big Give now. <laughs> well, Karen's going to a hoedown, so she'll be back. Um, 
technology is hard. Okay, so we would love to have you on social media. Oh my god! I'm like, I wasn't even touching my phone. I have no idea why my phone just went off okay. and just playing "Let It Snow." We apologize. Okay, so talking about events, um, we do get a lot of questions about like, um, incentives or anything like that regarding events. So we did create a sheet with um a variety of different scenarios of uh, what you could do for your event. So if you have questions on um, what you should and maybe what you shouldn't do, please click on that nonprofit incentive guidelines on the toolkit and it gives you a lot of different ideas on um, how you can do that. And then I talked about that on the website. Um, the support chat from Neon One is gonna be awesome. So um, if, They'll even help with issues like if the donor was wanting to give $100 and they only gave 10 and they're like, oh gosh, or the opposite way, they can just contact support and support can fix that for them. So that is a, another great feature that we're excited to have this year. And t-shirts. Um, this year we are just going to um, have you guys go to the establishment that you would like for Go Big Give. I know there's a lot here in Grand Island. There's even some online. Um, so what you can do is we have the Go Big Give logo on our website. If you just click on it and then you can download it to your desktop. It is a um, ping file, so it doesn't have like a white background or anything. So if you wanna go to like T-shirt engineers or West Anna, anywhere you want, you can just give that logo to them and you can design your T-shirt however you like. So um, we will, the Go Big Give team will not be um, organizing T-shirts this year. So it'll, it'll be up to you guys, but I think that'll be better because then you can have your T-shirt look exactly how you want it to. So that is where the logo is if you would like to do T-shirts for your team. Um, and as I saw in the chat, um, the Go Big Give headquarters is going to be at the Heartland United Way this year. Um, that is because, um, what's the ice cream place? Big Red Treats. Yes. Big Red Treats is actually over um, where we have been the past few years, so we were unable to go there. Um, but um, we're going for this year only, we'll be at Heartland United Way office if you want to come with me. Um, well, actually, I, I don't know that Big Red Treats is still there. Oh, um, okay. I think something like th that didn't all work out. Um, oh. So it was occupied. And so we just decided to um, keep it pretty simple and, and be here in our conference room. And so if you have anything, let us know. I did have one more question that came in and it was um, asking where they should send their list of board members to participate in the 100% board giving prize. And you can email that to give at gobiggive.org along with any other questions you might have, or you're welcome to call either of our offices for, for assistance. Yeah. And then um, we're at the end here. So this is kind of just the last um, important dates, the pre-give, the big day on May 6th. And then, um, we will have a wrap up and feedback meeting in June. We don't know if that'll be over Zoom or at Tom Dinsdale. So we will let you know on the date and um, where that'll be. And so we'll just wrap up if there's any last minute questions, um, please put them in the box, chat box. Um, otherwise we will have this um, recording on the website so you can go back in um, listen to that or if anyone else with your staff wants to listen um, and we'll be updating the website and sending all of this um, the items out to you um, via email. Is there anything else you guys would like to say? Yes, I would like to say thank you to Cammie. Oh gosh, no. Cammie. Um, for all that she has done for all of the nonprofit registration and support and updates and she really has taken this event and really owned it and she does a great job. So let's all give her a oh virtual. Yay! Yay! Well, you guys make it happen. So thank you, thank you. So we're excited. I hope it's a, it's a great year for all of you. We're ready for uh, great things happening and a lot of progressive stuff going forward. So, um, so good luck to everybody and we will, um, uh, 
<laughs> oh, I got a visit from my leprechaun. I have no idea. I wasn't even touching my phone. All of a sudden, it just started playing a song, and I have no idea why, so I apologize for that. But yes, yeah, so good luck to everybody, and go big and give. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes, and Cammie gets pinched because she oh. doesn't have green on. I was, was going a light pinch for go big give energy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, you guys have a great day and we will talk to you soon.